Hi, I'm Sibran Dijkstra. I'm the CEO of DJ Studio and I promise you stem separation. Well, this is the introduction of the first beta version of our stem separation. So let's dive into the software. Once you are in DJ Studio and let's say you want to create a new mix and grab a song, I'd like to make a remix of the mashup of Reboot and your personal Jesus of the page mode and I like Disco Nights. So let's add those three tracks and then the first thing you will see that there is nothing changed in DJ Studio. There is no stem separation and that's correct. You still need to install the stem separation. So read the manual or look at this video. So you go to the settings screen and in the settings there is an extension and here you can download the stem separation extension. And this is a few hundred megabytes. This is once, this is the AI model. It needs to be installed and now it is installed and the software is ready for you to play. I need to refresh DJ Studio once so that it knows that the stem separation is in here. Yes, open my project. And now if I go to transitions, there is something, woohoo, there is something new. We have EQ transitions and we have stem separation. So the stem separation is working. Let's have a look in here. Yes. Yes, this is the part that I want to have, your own personal Jesus. Wouldn't it be great if I could just grab it from the music? Well, yes, I can. Have a look. I'll just zoom in. I mark the area that I'd like to separate. And now I have the option. I can separate the drums, the bass, the melody or the vocal. In this case, I'd like to have the vocal. So copy vocal. And here's the vocal. So it's taking a few seconds, uh, but the result is really interesting. Have a look. Jesus. That's the one. That's the one I want to have. Let's cut this down to your own personal Jesus. Here we go. One, two, and three. Yes. Your own personal Jesus. So, perfect, perfect. So what I can do now, I can go to the original and let me reorder the arrangement. And here is your own personal Jesus. Have a look at reboot. Uh, put it in here, somewhere in here. Make a copy of it. Okay, and now I'd like to go into Disco Nights. Have a listen over here. Yes, and I'd like to have this area as well. You can also use the hotkeys. So command four and you simply grab the focal. Here it is. Disco Nights, here it is. So, and this Disco Nights Let's move this over here as an introduction that the Disco Nights is coming. Let's have a listen. Yes, better. Well, for the transition, we now have uh, stem transitions and stem transitions are cool. Have a look. So over here you see some stem presets. You can do a stem a crossfade. You see a spinner. It's just a few seconds. And then we have created the stems. Uh, let's do the manual stems and zoom in a bit. So we do have some more space in here. Uh, what do you see? Well, we do have uh, cursors in here. 
And these signs mean if I click this, we uh, set the stem full. Here, have a listen. I'll switch this one off and make the stems full for you. So they're now all full. So here are the disco balls. Here are the drums, the bass, and the melody. So what you now can do, you can start playing around and uh, you can grab them on the inner side. You can uh, set the position. You can grab them on the outer side and this is a nice one. Then you do a swap, you see? So you can swap the drums in a certain place. You can also grab the automation point and set the volume and go over here you see you get an automatic crossfade in the bottom over here so the drums will not clash and uh, let's have a listen so you see, you have a lot of creative options. So another interesting thing is to create loops or uh, just not grabbing the focal, but let's grab the bass and uh, grab a few over here. Uh, let's see, uh, right mouse click, I'd like to have the drums. And what we did, we used the colors of uh, the drums uh, the bass, the melody, so we have green and uh, yellow, red and blue. So when I grab the drums over here, you will see that this sample is green. While if I would have grabbed the melody, there is not so much melody in there, you see it will become red. So this is a nice identification for you. And let's uh, make this uh, loop like this. And now uh, I can uh, right click this and save this sample as my uh, Disco Nights. And I'd like to save it in my global library. Well, this sample is now in my global library. If I go to my samples, you see here is my... And another cool thing we have is a cappellas. You can create complete a cappellas in no time. Have a look. Let's look for disarm yourself. Disarm yourself. Oh, beautiful focal, beautiful focal. You right click the track and then you see this option save a cappella. We now need to grab the focal of the complete track and it's taking a few seconds, but it's worth the wait. And here's the a cappella. I can grab it and uh, put it in my mix somewhere and have a listen. You keep on backwards, keep on so uh, the complete a cappella is ready. Oh, and if you want to use it outside of DJ Studio, if you click the three dots, here you see the a cappella. And there is a download button and when you download it disarm yourself a cappella go to downloads and downloads downloads here we go and here's my disarm yourself a cappella is this cool or is this super cool it's super cool so now i gave you an introduction to the stems beta there are a lot of loose ends but in the base it's working it's not yet working for beatport streaming and it's also not working for YouTube videos, so it only works with local music and it only works for Mac at the moment. Next week we will introduce the Windows version. Have a lot of fun with it.